Well, hey everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Minecraft. And a Merry Christmas to you all from Sorvius. I realize there have been some delays. Oh, look at this! It's a gift wrapped chest! Oh my goodness, it's festive all the time! Yeah, I uh, haven't made a video in a little bit. And you know, you know what's going on. It's the same story as always. Oh, Sorvius is so depressed these days, he can't even muster up the energy to make one video. Yeah, that's pretty much the way it goes. But, I don't know if it's the spirit of the season finally uh, digging in. Because I gotta be honest, I haven't even felt the spirit this, this Christmas. You know, I was in the stores, I heard the music. I even sang the songs in church. But for some reason, it just, it wasn't there. I don't know what happened. Is Sorvius getting bitter? Is real life starting to sink in and his own uh, reality starting to sting? It's... No. All of that stuff can't be true because I'm Sorvius. And I think about the people that I've met throughout the years and interacted with and a lot of those people I've actually been an inspiration to and I've helped. And just today, I, I've actually, I, not today, but earlier this this year, like maybe a couple months ago, I found uh, Markiplier. Markiplier is a pretty pretty profound YouTuber, and I watch his videos where I can, and he's just a cool guy, and he does fun stuff. And uh, I was watching his video that just came out today for Christmas where he did some Omegle chatting, and it, for those of you who don't want to know what it is, don't worry. I didn't know what it was either. I'm, I'm like so far out of the loop, it's not even funny. <laughs> but. I was watching him on Omegle. Oh crap! Oh. <laughs> that sound is so painful. And I was on there, and I was watching him do Santa Claus, and I was, I was just looking at uh, the people that he would get on on the the chat, and they were just so happy. It made him so happy just to see that they had, they had made a connection with him, and that they got to talk to him, even if it was for just a moment. And I know that made him feel good, and I, I know those made those people's days, and maybe even their whole Christmas. And uh, it was, it was a, 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 I guess a ray of hope, a shining beam of light in, in the grand scheme of things that I, I might just be able to continue on. Because I know that there are people out there that feel the same way about me. They just love what I do, they love watching my videos, and they enjoy every minute of it. I even think in, in one of the comments one time, someone asked if uh, they could have my babies. <laughs> yes, folks, it goes that far. And I've been wanting to do a lot of things lately, but I've just been so down in the dumps about everything that's been going on with my life and just all the, the stuff all pile in at once. And it's really cold. Cause, ah, jeez, I did it again. <laughs> it's really cold outside, and I don't do well with the cold. I'm stuck in the mountains of Pennsylvania's in the winter time and I should be on the beaches of Florida in the winter time. I don't do well in, in, in cold weather but you know you gotta I gotta get over it. I guess you could say I gotta deal with it. <clears throat> but you know a couple thoughts about what's been going on with this whole YouTube thing and everything that's that's been happening. It just uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I guess it can be depressing especially if you're a, a bigger name and you're getting you know the full force of this thing and I really like, you know, having this freedom of expression. But I was thinking about this, uh, and this is the, pro the profound moment for those of you who are wondering. Years ago, when I started doing Line Rider, and the internet was all the rave, and you know, 4chan was at its peak. Although I still hear it's doing pretty well. And YouTube was was getting popular, and Facebook was coming out, and Google was making headway as the number one search engine. We're talking like five, six years ago only. And, uh... <laughs> ah, that stuff was... Man, did I spawn on an island? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I, I don't do well with islands. I'm gonna have to go that away, I guess. But anyway, during that time, I was posting line rider videos and trying to, I guess you could say, compete with the other line riders in the community. And, you know, back then, people used to say that, uh... I struggled with constructive criticism. Yes, that's right. 
people would criticize my videos or whatever and just nitpick everything point out what they didn't like and rarely say what they did like and then you had the opposite side which is the people I like the most the true fans that just like everything no matter what they're just fans and they love you and what you do and as long as you keep doing it they'll be happy I like those kind of people I don't like the kind of people that just nitpick everything and and give you a lot of crap for something that you put so much time and effort into and really thought you had the bee's knees only to be destroyed in a single sentence or comment and your esteem and everything just goes down the dumper and people used to say well sort of you know you gotta learn how to take constructive criticism because you know this is how it is and it used to to kinda irk me because I thought well it doesn't have to be that way does it now fast forward a few years later to YouTube and content ID and flagging all these people because some big name developers got mad. Why? For the constructive criticism. Now you'll hear me say that I don't really believe that there is even such a thing as constructive criticism. I go as far to say that it just doesn't exist. Oh look, I may have found landmass after all. Okay, I didn't have to go too far at all. It's just that picked a map didn't load properly. Anyway, constructive criticism. All right, first of all, criticism in my mind is when you criticize, okay? It's a negative thing, not a positive thing. Now, you can cover it with the other word called feedback, which is a little nicer because if you give me feedback, it can be positive or negative, but to criticize or to opinionate yourself over top of one's work and make or break it with your words you know, you know what I'm talking about? Just giving people a hard time, not realizing all the effort that they put into what they were doing. And, you know, even if it wasn't the greatest, I mean, sometimes you can tell if something just isn't that great. But you may not want to hurt somebody's feelings so you don't say anything. And some people think, well, you know, maybe feelings got to get hurt, uh, otherwise they're not going to improve. Or maybe they're just not good at what they're doing and they should try something else. But sometimes that's not the best thing to do because maybe they're not trying to shoot for the stars like I am maybe they're just trying to get out there and, and become a part of this thing known as the internet community and you're shutting the door in their face before they even get started that kind of treatment only works when they've already got something to stand on when they've got a foundation if they can't even build that because of all the criticism because nobody likes to be criticized man be honest with yourself nobody likes to be told something that they created and have shared with the world is crap tell me one oh well you gotta be able to take criticism no you don't like it any as much as the next guy and you're lying if you say you do okay you're a liar <laughs> so if you call me a liar oh yeah if you believe that constructive criticism can always be a good thing, of course you're lying to yourself because you wouldn't like it if somebody did that to you. You know, not necessarily talking about the golden rule, but just let up on people. You know, the big companies got mad because of negative feedback or constructive criticism about their products. When you watch things like Angry Joe's show, who's really funny, by the way, I like his show, and he tells it like it like it is. Okay, he doesn't just badmouth games and products he actually shows you what the problems are so you can see for yourself and then of course as I mentioned in my last video this has started to have an impact on the bottom line of some companies and they got all butthurt and started complaining and of course YouTube would side with them because YouTube wants to make money just like any other business but how much does your money cost that's the question of the day how much does your money cost you is it worth it or are you diseased by the addiction of greed and, and acquiring wealth. Has it, has it gone so far to the point where you should get rehabilitated? Because I can tell you right now, you get sucked into that, that uh, death machine that is greed, and you're gone, man. You're gone. If anybody is proof of this, it's, uh, of, of the opposite of this, it's me, because I obviously don't make money off of you. Oh, hello, village. Oh, yeah. I don't make money off of YouTube like some people, but I still make videos. So if it was about the money, I should have quit a long time ago, right? When my channel tanked, which, by the way, I figured out what happened, so we're going to try to bring it back. But, uh, you know, long story short, because I'm going on ten minutes here. Hello, Gonzo! Hold on. Oh, we got bookshelves. I'll get those in a minute. Huh. All I'm saying is, be nice, okay? Don't give people a hard time when they're just starting out. Let them, let them you know, have their moment in the sun. 
Oh, you guys want to sell to me. They all came in here. They bum rushed me, man. Get out of my way, Gonzo. I'm trying to open the door. Jeez. Ah, you can con you can criticize Gonzos. There's nothing wrong with that cuz they're they're soulless creatures. They try to sell you crap all day and then they run and hide at night when the evil zombies come out only for the grand warrior, which is me, to come out and slay all the zombies and the impending danger of the night. Anyway, guys, I'm I'm getting off on a tangent here, but just just be nice. Constructive criticism, while you may feel you're one of those people that feels that it's necessary for progression and for the betterment of society and all that nonsense, philosophical bullcrap. Listen, just take it easy on people. The internet has gotten too opinionated. That's the problem today. Everybody's opinion is out there. Everybody has something to say, and they think they're right. That everybody else is wrong. And that's just taking it too far. If you think your opinion is that valuable, then you should start taking an opinion survey, because I hear there's some money in that. But if you're just on the internet, man, and you see something somebody made, and you don't like something that happened, or you think you've seen better, or whatever the case is, dude, relax. You know, that person might have worked their tail off. I know there's lazy people out there that just copy pasta and repost stuff, okay? Shame on those guys. But for those people that are honestly trying, give them a break, will you? Just, just be cool. And I don't really have anything for you for Christmas. That's kind of all I had to say today. So, keep watching. I'm, I'm 95% sure that I'm going to continue making the tutorials for 3D Rad. I got a, a web space set up, so I did buy that at least. I got to be working on, on getting the material up there, so it's easy to find. It's all in one place. And I'm going to be doing more Minecraft. You saw the title, so you should know. Minecraft is continuing in this amplified version. I don't know if it's going to be this map, because this map is kind of lousy. But hey, who knows, right? Maybe we'll get... Oh, maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe not, because I think I'm about to get killed. Any hoozle. You, oh, you guys have a great Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I will see you in the next video. And stay awesome because there's more Minecraft and 3D Rad and who knows what else on the way. Oh no. I mean, oh yeah. I'm dead. This is not good. Not good. Yay, I won.